Well, hello, my YouTube friends. Um, my friends, in my life of collector, uh, I have been impressed, I have been moved, I have been, you know, many uh, different feelings uh, have occurred while I was collecting knives. And I had all these feelings, you know, mixed up all together like that. And, uh, you know, sometimes it brought me joy, sometimes uh, I was disappointed. But, you know, I felt, I thought I felt almost every kind of feeling uh, when I received uh, a knife until today. This today, my friend, today, sorry, uh, this day, uh, something special happened. Uh, and this thing is that knife. Uh, I am just, I have different feelings, I would say, because I've never, ever felt something like that. And this, my friend, is the real game changer for me. This knife is poetry, it's artistry, is something that I've never experienced. And I had a lot, a lot of knives, as you all know, uh, and I can be, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can be in O with a lot of different things, but this is something just different. This, my friend, is the Stingray from Mr. Uh, Salmonaro. And Mr. Salmonaro, uh, if you watch this video, uh, you have all my respect because this is just stunning. This is, as one of my friends said, an exquisite knife. That's what it is. I am just in love with this knife, my friend. I can't say how happy I am to own this knife and to fondle it like this is just happening today and it will occur like every day. I mean, I don't see myself not playing with this knife like every day. Let me try to be, you know, uh, the more, I mean, I don't know what I can be. Just, I, I want to be the, 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 the guy that presents you this knife and try to show you the perfection that you have in this grind, in this handle, I mean the perfection that you have everywhere. So if I want to be uh, the, the, the more, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm losing my words, my friend. You know what, let's start by talking about the handle, then we will go to the, to the blade, and you know what, uh, uh, we will try <laughs> to be coherent here, but I'm sure that I won't be. You know what, if anything, I want to be passionate, and I hope that I will convey this passion while talking about this knife. So let's start with this handle. Here we have an absolutely beautiful uh, a, a full titanium, but that's not what it is. I mean, full titanium, we all have that, you know. Let's talk about this pattern that you have. You have to understand that Mr. Salmanaro worked with his hand, his own hand, and he makes this checker in here, which is mind-blowing. As you can see here, you have those curves, all those curves. They all go from here to here, and you have all those nice curves that start here, and you have this first pattern, those nice curves that you can have find here and here, okay? Then you have the checker in here. You have those small checkers here, and when you you feel that it's a just a little bit more aggressive than what you can find here. And as you can see here, those are small dots, and here they begin to be a little uh, bigger. And here you have those lines, and here again those bigger dots and here the smaller one and you can feel the difference here it's just a tiny bit more aggressive than here and here it's just round it you have you feel that it's you know almost smooth here here just a little bit more aggressive and here a little a little bit more so you have those curves you have those dots you have those bigger dots you have those lines here i mean this is just insanity and you have again to understand that mr salmanaro does that by hand and not only does he do that by hand on one side but he does that on the other side just the same pattern just the same insanity look at this nice clip with this beautiful orange peel finish uh, don't ask me about putting here uh, uh, an I mean, unnecessary uh, hole that would spoil the beauty of this knife. This, my friend, is a tip-up carry only for righties only. Sorry for you, leftist guy. Sorry 
uh, uh, he will do probably a lefty hand, but I, I don't want to, 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 to have any holes or that would spoil the beauty of this knife. Even the cut here is just perfect. Look at that. It's a satin finish on the cut. It's very difficult to have a cut like that in satin. It's very difficult to achieve because you can expect to have, you know, some uh, 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 impurity here. Uh, and and it, again, it's very, very hard to have that this nice finish on the cut. Usually, you know, when you have a cut like that, the makers leave it and uh, you feel some traces uh, and some blemishes, I would say. Here, nothing of the kind. Mr. Salman Arrow, man, uh, I... I I hope that I will give you the, the honor that your knives uh, deserve. Then you have, you know, the, the overall aspect of this, the, this knife. I absolutely love to have concealed uh, blade uh, on a knife. That's why I love Quakens. That's why I love you, th th those kind of knives. But this is it's even better. It's not like you have the big blade coming out of the knife, which I, I like it. But, you know, I, like I said, I like concealed uh, blades. It's not that you have the blade concealed inside the handle you have just a little small amount of blade with this beautiful beautiful hand rubbed finish so it's not a concealed it's not the big blade uh, going out of the blade you, you 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 appreciate the handle and just with a tiny bit of satin here going out of the blade it, this is just awesome my friend i despise i despise usually uh thumb discs as of now, as of actually not as of now, because I tried the Quake and it was quite funny because I discovered that you can, you know, uh, you can see my, my video on uh, Instagram. You can operate with two fingers and <laughs> it's a kind of funny way to uh, to open the blade with the thumb disc. So I, I would say that I despise thumb disc uh, until I found this way of opening. But here it's even better. The checkering goes here also. Look at that. I mean, even on the side, everywhere you have this little checkering here. Look at that. It is just, just, just mind blowing. And I haven't talked about the backspacer here, which is also the same finish, the same checkers here. And the nice orange peel finish on the spine here. It is just crazy, crazy, crazy awesome. I realize, my friend, that I'm drooling now for over seven minutes and a half. And I hope uh, that I will get through this video uh, in less than 15 minutes, hopefully. Look at this nice top pin. And look how the blade, you know, goes just over this top pin. This is perfection to the 1,000, probably. No more than that. It, it touches without touching, actually. Uh, it goes just around the blade, just goes just around here. The, this big stop in actually, it's a huge stop in here. Just, just, just perfect. Look at that, my friend. I wish I had some epic music to go with my rambling. But you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ramble on this knife and drool on this knife. And then again, I will make a lot of videos uh, with music that, that, that this knife deserves. Look at the centering here of the blade. This is just, again, it's perfection. Absolute perfection. So... Let's go with this thumb disc. So I discovered the thumb disc now with the Boker Quaken and now with this uh, Salmonaro Stingray. Uh, this is really nice, actually. You know, you can operate with the thumb and it's very smooth. Very, the action is just buttery smooth, buttery smooth, as you can expect. And again, I found this way of opening with two... Uh, I'm going to take some distance here. Uh, doesn't want to focus. No. Two fingers. Just look at that. Just push with the fingers like that, and the blade, you know, flies, flies, flies open. But, you know, it's as that smooth that you can also operate it with the, or the index, or for you guys who like to, to, to use the, the third finger, I like to use the, the, the index. Like that, just buttery smooth, buttery smooth. But you can also, since this knife is just, just poetry, you can operate it just like that with a nice, a nice action. And this is just the way I like it better, probably, just like that, to see this blade deploying. And my friend, what a blade it is. CPM 154, who cares? I don't care. You can use D2, my friend. You can use even AUS 8. This knife, <laughs> I, I, would use, I would just 
see it and again drool on this beautiful hand rub finish so if you can achieve that on whatever skill you want to use that's fine by me my friend i'm sorry mr salmonaro but this knife won't cut nothing this is a piece of art for me it's a tool for sure but i will use other tools this knife uh, I wouldn't dare to see a scratch on this beautiful hand rub. Beauty, beauty, beautiful. Uh, the grind is less complex than the one he uses for his bullseye. You don't have the, 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 the big arrow here, but this is, it's a, you know, it, it's a Persian style blade. Uh, and to be perfectly honest with you, I, I like the, 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 the the fact that there is a lot of thought in this grind on the bullseye but i, I like the, the the simple beauty of this knife with this big switch this is a big blade actually it's over four inch blade uh, this nice flat here and i would it's a, i think it's a flat also i didn't no, i don't it, that's not a hollow grind that's a flat also here but just the simple you know simplicity is always the the, the best usually the the, the, the more things are simple, the better when they're beautiful. So you see, it's not like you make a big arrow on the grind, like uh, you, you can have some some imperfection when you have something like, uh, like bold uh, as the big arrow like that. This one, you, you, there is no place for imperfection. If you have even the tiniest imperfection that will show on this blade. And this is just, just perfection on one side and on the other. I couldn't care less to know that that CPM 154, Mr. Salmanaro, uh, for the sake of the beauty of your blade, make it sterile. I love sterile blades. You, when you have a hand, hand rub finish like that, uh, make this is not blemish and it's just, just that you know how it is. Uh, you have to 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 you know to put a, a, a nice attention to to have a perfect finish on those kind of blades so yeah why putting the cpm 154 is above me uh, is beyond, I, I mean I, I don't understand that uh, then what do we have look at the engagement here you also have here this nice jimping uh, that makes for a perfect reach with the finger everything is buttery buttery smooth on this knife again you won't find nothing that that i mean even even the pivot here you know it's a regular tox nothing that uh, nothing really crazy about that i love it like that i don't want to have a, a, a big pivot that would spoil the, the the beauty of the handle i want to keep it just you know what i want to to forget there is a pivot here if it was hidden it would be even better so i don't want to have a pivot here with a nice anodization you know, even the end i don't want to have an anodization i want to see the knife as it is like that and here it's perfect to have a pivot like that so you can just forget about the pivot and make uh, uh, your focus on the, the the handle so again my friend this is the salmonaro stingray i what can i say if ever you have the chance to have this knife in your hand you will be more than happy you will become crazy with that knife as i am probably uh we are flirting now with the 14 minutes so i'm gonna stop here because i'm not sure that i have anything more interesting to say uh, not that i had anything interesting to say in the first place yeah probably about the jimping here for those of you who want to use this knife believe me my friend the feel in hand is absolutely awesome 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 and the jimping is just what you would need and even you know uh the the thumb disc provide uh, a nice amount of uh, of retention here so if you want to use it, this knife believe me my friend that would be also uh, a user and i will probably reconsider i don't know i will probably use this knife because it's so so fun to have it in hand like that so i want to cut things with it also so uh, i reckon on what i say uh, i will probably use this knife i'm becoming crazy crazy about it and uh, i think uh, that will even that that will improve uh, in time so my friend uh, as i said i wanted to keep it under 15 minutes we are almost to 15 minutes uh, respect to mr manaro and my friend uh, if you can get to this knife, uh, uh, just get it. It's just a beauty. And for those of you who like it, go to Boker also. For uh, if you can reach this knife, Boker just re uh, released it uh, in their version. Bye bye, my friends.